Our preseason has been a, uh, a, a good preseason, I think. We've had a lot of uh, ups and downs in, in the preseason. Uh, a big up was a start at, uh, at, with our missions trip to Costa Rica. Uh, because of NCAA rules, we were only uh, able to take uh, our returning uh, student athletes. So uh, we didn't have any of the freshmen with us uh, this time. But um, that, was, uh, that was a great way to start. Um, we were able to really uh, spend some quality time together and travel together and practice together and, and minister together and we played um, four of their top teams while we were there, three of their top universities, a Costa Rican all-star team and then the national team and we went uh, four and one and, and took a game from the national team so that was um, with a very small roster I think that was exciting for us but I think the the best part of that was um, the opportunity to grow spiritually. Uh, we heard testimonies from our players, particularly the last night, that was, was very, very encouraging. And, and from that, we developed our theme for this year, basically, which is uh, no turning back. Uh, there's a new Hillsong, Hillsong out now called um, Christ is Enough. And it's kind of from that, that's kind of our theme song, and it talks about no turning back and Christ is enough. And, and I think after last year, after taking a step forward, this team and that group particularly that was coming back from Costa Rica, which were the returners that had gone through last year, they're ready to take a step forward. Well, you'd have to start with our senior, our only senior, and that's Christina. And um, Christina's hurt right now, has an injury, and so that's, uh, that's a little concerning, obviously, uh, starting in our first weekend out. But I think uh, once we get Christina back, I really, really believe that um, she is the best right side in all of Division Two. If she just hasn't had the opportunity to prove it, her stats were there last year, but she got hurt in early September, and um, I think that um, she would have had the stats you know, early this year, and I think she has a chance to catch up. She isn't just a tremendous blocker. Reads, reads the uh, the outsides like no player I've ever seen. Uh, very instinctive in what she does, and then she's really become almost unstoppable if we can get her the right ball. And so. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing her back and seeing her play because I, we have real high expectations, real high goal for her, and I think she could easily be one of the top three players to ever come to PBA uh, and, play, and play volleyball. After her, you have to look at Becca. Uh, Becca was an honorable mention All-American last year. Um, she's a team leader, um, just, you know, really drives the team really, really well. Um, not going to see as much as her early because of the injuries that force us to kind of go with the two-setter combination to get started with. Uh, but once we get Christina back and, and get the maybe some of the other players back, you'll see that offense that we ran last year kick back into gear. We had to kind of modify what we're going to do right now, at least starting out. But Becca also a potential to move up as an All-American. I'm confident of that. Um, our libero, I think, is one of the best liberos in all Division Two. Also, Mel, um, she can. She can hang with anybody. Um, she she picks up balls that you know I shake my head at all the time. Even though I see her do it all the time, it's, I still shake my head. She's a vocal leader out there. She's she's calling the defense. She's also calling, telling the hitters where to hit the ball. She sees the court. She's a she's a coach on the court. You know, just an incredible player. Um, stepping up this year is is Faith uh, Faith Roan. Certainly, um, you know she. She got, she got hurt in the first week last year in her shoulder. She hit too many bar, balls too hard at the beginning and, and didn't really recover until the end of the year. Now she's where she was pretty much at the end of the year, starting out the year, and I think we're going to see some really nice numbers from her, and she's going to help offset the loss of, of Mariella last year, who was obviously a key player for us. And then um, I call her our super, super DS. You know, uh, Rachel Holhouse could play, also could play libero for anyone else pretty much in in the country, at least Division Two, and a lot of Division One teams, uh, we're just blessed with two great passers, and and we're asking her to play some offense. In high school, she was, um, in spite of her height, uh, was a great offensive weapon, and so uh, with 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 Ellie out right now, our, our other outside, and and the youngness of the other outsides coming in as freshmen, whole house has really stepped up defensively and offensively, and, and um, gave us played well for us in Costa Rica and played well for us so far. In the scrimmages. Some incoming freshmen, certainly the, the twins, Emma and Katie, are, are going to be impact players as the season moves on. I think they'll have certain game matches where they'll do really well. Um, and I think, as, as this, again, as the season moves on, they'll do, they'll do a little bit better, a little bit better moving forward. 
Um, so I think you know we're pretty well well rounded team right now. I think that um, we're more balanced offensively um, than we were in the past, uh, particularly once we get all those players back. Team one, two, three, two.